Um, Brian, I wanted to ask you as a school counselor, you know, I know you're very concerned about your students' well-being um, at school, at home, and now at school home slash the same place. Um, many families uh, coming from a lower income are having a very difficult time adjusting to the whole virtual learning and distance learning as we've talked about. And Jabari Courtney is a senior in the Junior Achievement Program, the 3DE program at Benjamin Banneker High School in College Park, Georgia. He has a question for you specifically about financial resources. Hey guys, thank you for having me. Um, once again, I'm a senior at Banneker High School. Next uh, semester, I'll be attending Howard University. And my question for you is, what are ways for individuals with more financial resources to better help lower income families during this time? All right, the first thing that comes to mind for me is giving. Can you give um, in a meaningful way? Are there local charities that you can give to? Are there charities at the national level that you're passionate about? National Association of Free and Charitable Clinics, the Human Response Fund. Like, can you give in a meaningful way? Um, can you partner with local institutions in your area, with your schools? I know that many schools are raising funds for families and uh, for communities to help support them during this difficult time. I also think about ways that you can give that may not require fiscal giving. Um, can you give of your time? Can you give your story? I think it's been very powerful, especially in an age when social media is so uh, powerful and influential. Are we talking about what we are experiencing? Are we talking about what we're seeing? Are we talking about um, what the needs are in the communities and advocating um, for marginalized communities and for marginalized populations who may not have that voice, may not have that opportunity. So sharing our voice and uh, elevating the situations that require our attention as a community uh, locally, but also at the national level. I'm inspired by your willingness to want to give and not try to take in these times. So thank you. 